have you ever felt completely disturbed by a movie before? Because that's what Joker did for me. Alright, this movie is actually really, really good. It is very entertaining, it is well shot, well acted. When I say this was disturbing, I'm not saying that the imagery is super, like, out there and really messed up and all that. I mean that this film is extremely unsettling to watch. Or at least for me, I got this feeling of just overwhelming dread and anxiety for what was going to happen to basically every single character that we see in the film. And there's not really much you can do about that. I'm pretty sure that was the intention. This movie is very, very good. It is very well acted. Joaquin Phoenix does a great job as Joker and with the portrayal that they're trying to give. Honestly, the movie mostly focuses on him, so the other performances were really good for what they were, but as he's the main character, he's the one that you spend, not even 99, like basically 100% of the shots involve him in some way or another. He's being told from his perspective. That leads to the film being more focused around him and following what Joker does. It is very interesting to see like how the riots come about that we see in the trailer with like everyone wearing the clown masks and all that. I'm not going to get into specifics of how that all went down, but it involves something that other ended up doing um, earlier on in the film, and uh, kind of just derailed into what we see in the trailer. Something that I want to bring up is the portrayal of the Joker. He is a man who society has beat down his entire life, and he has finally snapped. Here's the thing. Well, yes, he is the protagonist. He is by no means the hero of this film. The way that this movie ends, at least for me, very much exemplifies that he is the villain. He is not a good person. What he's done has caused mass hysteria and panic and just shit. It does not glorify this in any way, and I'm very happy that this is the direction that the filmmakers went. Like, if they had gone another route, I probably wouldn't have liked the movie as much as I do. It's really hard for me to think of, like, good things to say about this without getting into spoiler territory. It's a really, really hard movie to define and, like, explain. Very entertaining, extremely fun to watch. I recommend it if you want to see a version of Joker, especially this version. I do like the kind of alteration to the Wayne's story, how Batman got started, that's kind of hinted at in this film. I say hinted at, it's straight shown. Um, but there's a bit of a difference, I'm not gonna ruin that here, but... It's supposed to be a movie how Joker starts, that's supposed to tie in in some way to the rest of the DCEU. Yeah, you knew Batman thing was gonna be in here at some point. I mean, we see Bruce in the trailer, and Thomas is a main key fit part in the story of this film. Yeah, I don't have a ton to say about this. I would recommend it if you want to see this version of Joker, and if you do, you're probably already planning on seeing it, if not have already seen it. For me, this movie rolled 17. It was entertaining, it was a lot of fun, it was really, really good, but the unsettling nature of the film and how this movie made me feel almost physically sick at certain points gave me a reason that I don't, wouldn't necessarily recommend it to everyone. Still highly entertaining, would very much recommend it. What movies do you have like that, that are extremely, you, you think they're really, really good, but it's hard to justify watching them more than a couple of times because they make you feel like just physically nauseous or just not very, or like almost sick while watching. Anyway, that's all I have for now. Peace out, guys.